As we wrap up Blight Month here in the capital city, city parish officials put on a blight boot camp for residents to make bigger strides in cleaning up Baton Rouge. The American Rescue Plan providing several million dollars in community revitalization. News News Callista Matrician says community members are already anxious to see more results. This brick home on the corner of North Boulevard and South 12th Street has been in one family for more than 40 years. What's next to it? It, it looks horrible, to be honest with you. It's just been there for months now, and we've tried to make a statement about it, but nothing has changed. It's still the same. Two homes dilapidated, the structures caving in, and weeds taking over. The longtime owner passed away nearly a year ago. Adonis Clark says it's concerning to see the property go to waste. It's caused safety concerns among him and his family. The biggest issue is the homeless people coming in and out and the critters. Like we cannot, we have a problem with the critters and the road. And the a notice on the vacant house tells people to stay out. That as the city held a community blight boot camp to discuss solutions. We're going to be cleaning up junk trash and debris. We're going to be taking care of unmowed lawns, and we're going to be collecting some of the, the hazardous waste in our neighborhoods, like tires and abandoned vehicles, uh, and, and getting rid of some of the, the uninhabited homes that are also hazards to our residents. City Parish investing $4.5 million in cleanup. We've got a lot of illegal dumping. We've got a lot of people who have struggled to upkeep their homes and, and they've fallen into disrepair. We have a lot of people who, who've inherited property who might not even know about it, who might have inherited 150th of their grandmother's um, home. We want to be respectful of the people who, who own these properties who, who might be experiencing challenges in upkeep. But we also want to be respectful of the people who are neighbors to this blight. This year already, the city has demolished 63 homes. More than 500 lots have been cleared of junk, debris, and weeds. Still, more work is to be done. Uh, adjudicated properties are sometimes a challenge uh, because, of, because of title uh, issues, uh, but we do have uh, community nonprofits uh, who are helping us in that process. And we're working with a judge who can review the situation and come up with the best course of action forward for the city for the neighbors and for the person who owns that property. Something the Clarks have been waiting for. To see this being picked up and uh, cleaned very much and the houses, I feel like the houses need to be broken down or something or rebuilt. They say they voiced their concerns to the city more than 20 times. It's not just serious all over Baton Rouge to be honest with you. So I feel like they should take care, more care of it and prevent it from happening. In Baton Rouge, Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2.